Welcome, B2B B Goat, and uh, actually for the first time, T Scran V Gats, because this is going to be this is going to be a dual group video post. Um, using this really crappy camera phone, and I'm going to try not to look directly at it right now because the flash is on, because it's the only way that I can make this shit work, because I don't have a legitimate video camera, and all well, this phone's like three years old. Um, anyway. Enough uh, explanations of my shitty videos. On to the real reason why we're here. This is a collection video. Uh, I'm going to be basically comparing what I had a year ago to what I have right now. And just to kind of showcase what can be done in, in one short year. Uh, last year I didn't have much before I joined the, the Facebook pages. And... Yeah, basically, as soon as I moved from Washington to Nebraska, I realized exactly how expensive video games were out here in the Midwest, so uh, I stopped buying from stores and started dealing with all you nice folks. And, well, this is this is the end result. You've hopefully seen the pictures above by now before watching the video. Uh, if not, scroll back up. The pictures of what I used to have will be posted. And this is just going to be one of my general random babbling videos. Uh, I'm not going to try to... I'm going to try to show everything kind of quick so this doesn't take, you know, an entire half hour, but I can't guarantee that it won't. And I'm not going to read off every tire like in ti title. I'm not re-recording this. I'm not going to read off every title like N'Gia does with his uh, super duper shopping list of awesomeness. I don't have that patience, but anyway, I'm probably trying yours, so let's get on with it. We're going to start upstairs with... Uh, Okay, I can't see the screen because of that flash. Give me a second. Start upstairs with the Wii stuff here. I keep my Wii and my PS3 upstairs hooked up to my my living room television. And PS3 is kind of way back in the corner there, but Twisted the Metal is the last one. All right, so we've seen all those. And uh, oh, uh, uh, just go ahead and do you, you're not going to see The Last of Us in here because my my friend borrowed it because everybody needs to play Last of Us. There's some more Wii games. There's some more PS3 games. And hey look, PS3. And then TV. Oh, you can't see the TV. And there's some controllers and crap up here. And I didn't clean anything, and I'm not going to apologize. Say, hey look, kitty cat. Now we're going to make our way down, down to the man caves. And hopefully this combination of lowering the brightness on my camera and turning the flash on will allow us to see everything. And again, it's a mess. I don't care. I apologize for nothing. You'll see some. Uh, you'll see some mystery boxes right there. Those, that's what I've been working on. Well, that's the wrong shelf. All right, bam. <laughs> we start off with PlayStation, uh, PS1, and some. Uh, see if I can focus here. Hey, there we go. And like I said, I'm just gonna hit some noticeable titles. I mean, we got we got the Devil Summoner too. The one thing that uh, contradicts. Me being a player more than a collector, because I haven't been able to bring myself to open that yet. We got Raiden Project over there. It actually came from a, a local collector. Guy who I wish would join the page. Because he's a really cool guy, but he refuses to do anything electronic. And of course we got Brave Fencer Mushashi in there. I was looking for that one for a long time. Finally ran into it a few months back. We got the Dragon Warrior 7s, and then Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. Gran Turismo! Because Gran Turismo is the shit. I know. Me and my racing games. And then we got Lunar 1. And in fact, I'm just going to pull up a chair. Because my I'm too tall to... Oh, that's that's Selwyn's mystery box right there. Z-bag not included. Sorry, Selwyn. I had to put it on top of it so he wouldn't be able to see inside. Just in case I accidentally scrolled over it the way that I just did. <laughs> and then there's my Lunar 2. I'm missing the outer box, and unfortunately I don't think I'm ever going to find it by itself, but I can dream. We got the Marvel superheroes, that came from, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that came from Eric Johnson, local guy, we do lots of trades, he's also on the pages. We got the Ray Crisis, that came from, uh, oh god, now I'm going to freaking blank on his name, Christopher Robertson. <laughs> the Moist Ninja himself, I can remember Moist Ninja, I can't remember Christopher Robinson apparently. And then all the standard stuff, we got some Saga Frontier and some Spyro, Star Ocean, Valkyrie Profile, and Xeno Gears. That one took me a while to find, but I'm excited about that. Then we hop into, 
can only hop into PS2 here. And got the Dark Cloud too. It's really the only horribly notable tile on that row. But then the second row is full of awesome. We got Destroy All Humans and Devil Summoner and the the first Dot Hack quadrilogy, some Dragon Ball Z games, another Dragon Quest, and of course more Final Fantasy. Oh, I think I just zoomed in a little bit. Can I zoom back out? I don't know what I did. <laughs> anyway, we got some Jack games, Killer Seven, which is extremely overlooked and I, I feel like once the PlayStation 2 bubble kicks in that game's gonna jump up in value because it's artistic value in itself is just ridiculous. We got the Monokemia with a, with a guide, one of the few guides I have. Got some Maximo and some Mega Man and why is... alright well I got some realphabetizing to do so ignore that. <laughs> Onamusha Blade Warriors. This is actually this is actually a pretty cool game. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see it. It's uh, it's, it's 3D level fighting similar to Power Stone but on PlayStation and for some reason as awesome and as fun as this game is it, it only goes for like ten dollars because PlayStation 2 is just not popular right now so hop on that before before that bubble expands too because like I said once it does a lot of these games are just gonna get ridiculously pricey stuff like Red Ninja and Shadow of the Colossus, which is already kind of expensive. All those Sly games, finally completed my Sly games. Don't have Battlefront 2 for PS2 yet, but I'm uh, pretty sure we have one coming to my shop, so I'm going to buy that once it drops. Then we got the Tales. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tokyo Extreme Racer, because racing games are awesome. Tourist Trophy, one of like four games to be 1080p in, in PS2. And some Spider-Man, some beautiful Joe's Warriors. This actually, uh, this came as a disc-only copy from Aaron Jones. We had a, we had a legitimate copy come into my pawn shop, so I went and, I went and jacked the artwork and the manual from it, and hey, look, now I got a complete copy, so thanks, Aaron Jones. I don't know how pasty my face just looked. I guess I'll find out once I watch the video. And we got some PSP down here. Armor Core and some more Final Fantasies and that Genesis collection is actually really fun. Star Ocean, man, I have put like eight straight hours into that driving from here to wherever the hell it is I drove to. It was really far away. I forgot now. From PS2, we go up here to my Sega shelf. This is the only way I can fit all the games on here right now is stacked like this, so it may not be prettiest, but hey, there's some Secret Santa stuff. Test Drive 2 and Micro Machines, and then the Animaniacs, along with the rest of my loose carts. And then, oh wow, that's really bright. If I go up here, hey, you now you can see the Sega Saturn titles. And, oh, well, for those ones who don't know, Astle is the one Sega Saturn game to not have any side art for some reason. I don't know why. I thought I like got some kind of crazy misprint, but no. This is uh, Super Dimension Macross which is a freaking awesome shoot it up game and King of Fighters box set uh, big woohoo big thanks go out to Luis Mercado for that King of Fighters box set King of Fighters is one of the few fighting games I really like and oh, let's just go ahead and we'll move these up here for now actually we'll just showcase these ones before we go down there the Magnavox Odyssey games we got Quest for the Rings and uh Conquest of the World, and these are kind of crazy actually. If you pop them open, you look under the tray, there's game boards and pieces to be played along with it. It's kind of nuts. And then we got Dreamcast. Alright, I gotta do an angle thing here because apparently it doesn't like to. Uh... Oh, you can't see it. It says Four Wheel Thunder over there on the corner. Then we got Alone in the Dark. Probably the whole reason we have Resident Evil games is because of that series. People don't show it enough love though. Uh, there we go. We got some crazy taxi going on. Some Grandia 2. Thanks, Zach Toel! And MTV Sports Skateboarding. Some sports games. And then Power Stone 2. Recently picked that one up. And I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And it makes me sad. It's got Shimui and Skies. And Sonic Adventure. Oh, actually, I gotta take this Sonic Adventure out because I promised that to somebody. And don't worry, Zach. I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away as a gift because you gave it as a gift to me. Somebody else I know has been looking for it for a long time, and well, I got two copies, so it seems ah, you can't read the white ones at all. It says Star Wars Episode One Racer, and then 
Street Fighter Alpha 3 right next to it. And then we get to the Odyssey games. Pick these up with my complete in-box Odyssey from another local guy here. Oh, Cody something. I forget his name. But the, uh, the Odyssey boxes. Ooh. Odyssey boxes right there. I don't have it hooked up because I just honestly don't have a spot for it. Um, from there we go into... Oh, where's my chair? Oh, my chair back. From there we go into Xbox. And a lot of common titles, but still fun stuff nonetheless. I really need to try Far Cry Instincts. I got that Jet Set Radio Future from my work. I've, uh, in fact, actually a lot of these come from either my work or the page. That's the only place that I do any kind of buying or trading, really. There's a couple local guys here. And then my, my small little section of guides. My very small section of guides. <laughs> We got Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy XII, Legend of Zelda OOT guide. Let's see, Pokemon Ranger, Mario 64, Wild Arms, Ultra Code F. That is the extension of my guides. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of them just because they're so expensive. Oh, I also got a box of controllers over here. Look, look, box of random controllers. Yay. Just to uh, let everybody know exactly where my collection's at after one year. And we got some stuff up here, my Game Boys. I got an Atari Lynx and some spare PS2 console that honestly I don't think works anymore. From Xbox and Guides, we move over here to, uh, I don't know how the light's going to play with this other light, but we'll see what happens. We move over to my Nintendo shelf, which if we back up, we can kind of see all of it. Oh, that's getting fuzzy. Let's just go from top, work our way down. Up there is, uh, this is my case of childhood favorites. This is the stuff that I don't trade off to anybody for any reason. And it's not that it's expensive stuff, really. It's just stuff that I played when I was a kid and I'm not getting rid of. And uh, there's one spot left, and that's for Mighty Final Fight. Which I'll probably never find, which makes me sad. Unless I go out and spend $125 on it, but whatevs. We got we got some figures going on. As you can tell, I mean I got figures pretty much all over all over my, my man cave. There's actually a whole shelf of them over there. That that Zach Toehill built me and drove eight hours to deliver it because he is an awesome kind of crazy. There's that life force that life force marquee back there. That's my first and only marquee and I'm like really excited about it still. But here's my Super NES. My Nintendo collection is not as fancy as most people's. I've been trading off a lot of my Nintendo stuff to pay for my PlayStation habit, my N64 and my Dreamcast, trying to up those a little bit. If we move down here, we got most of my we got my more common NES games in those two piles. Some of the more fancy stuff over here. Well, maybe not necessarily fancy, but some of the stuff I like more goes in the case here. My Castlevania trilogy, my two Contras, and Punch Out, nice hockey, and all that good stuff. Right below that, we got my GameCube. Again, Nintendo. My Nintendo collection is not very big, but what I do have, I do like. And then, oh yeah, my uh, my Lethal Enforcer guns, which I actually haven't had a chance to test yet because I can't find Lethal Enforcer. And then all the uh, N64 games, which I'm not gonna paw through. Down here we have a basket of one controller for every system that I have hooked up. So that way I can just get to it quickly. We got my zoomer, my zoomer wheel, and my quick shot joystick, and my advantage pad, and my NES, and my, uh, it's hard to see, but my Switch is down there. Oh, well, some comics and some other random games. Inside these cupboards, that's where I house all my systems. And so I got my Grape N64 and my, my PS1 Slim. Actually, one grape controller away from having four controllers in a grape system. I'm trying to get it from my buddy Zach here, but his girlfriend's all like, that's my favorite. And I'm like, I'll give you another controller. And she's like, oh, yeah, my favorite. And then we got my GameCubes. With my advanced player that doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a desk, because that seems to be just how that, that shit rolls. And my PS2 Slam and my Saturn and my Dreamcast. And of course the, the NES that you saw earlier. So that's that's all of it. Um, hopefully that went quicker than I thought. 
we can we can only we can only hope but I'm gonna go upload this hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video of what can be done in one year with almost little to no money because as a lot of you know I have a I have a half rule that I don't break and if I'm out and about and I'm hunting stuff I don't I don't pay more than half of what it costs on eBay so yeah I'm gonna stop boring you now and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and good luck hunting B2B for life for those who don't know that's bits to bites because uh you know that's where all the cool kids hang out